I go to do a poem called What We Did in the Car Park of Yeats's Grave. Um, I come from a performance poetry background and uh, when I was reading loads of poems when I was writing this book in public and private, um, I realised that it was quite often that poets would respond to classic po po like poets to to show that they'd read the classic poets. And I was like, that's clever, you know, showing off in that way. Um, but I hadn't read any classic poets, so I was like, fuck. Um, and I wasn't gonna start, so... Um, <laughs> I was like, I did have sex in the car park of Yates' grave once, so I was like, that'll have to do. And this is uh, and this is how it goes. It starts with a little quote from W.B. Yates. I am still of opinion that only two topics can be of least interest to a serious and studious mood, sex and the dead. In our camper van, hidden from tourists caked in sunscreen snapping cameras at lichen covered gravestones, I meet you where you are. The buried curl their toes, their weathered noses press into the ceilings of their wooden boxes. The dead are jealous. Oh, to be alive and wet, naked on a bunch of pillows. To have your thrumming tongue inside me. To have a blue bottle watching us from the sticky olive oil bottle. Oh, to eat your body like white breads. My open legs, an altar you bend to. You are glass, I stain as low. You leak, I absorb what I can. We will never merge completely but this is pretty close. I have been trusted with something holy here. When we are done, I push you out of me onto a piece of kitchen roll. <laughs> it's not very romantic, but it is true. You take it from me, fold it gently like origami, then leave, letting the outside summer spill in. You take our love to the shimmering, overflowing bin. Add it to the fag ends, discarded tickets, licked lolly sticks and banana skins rotting in the sun. And through the van door, I spot two elderly women on a picnic bench, peacefully eating egg mayo sandwiches, not saying a word. And maybe it's the post-sex glow, or the heat, or the way one woman lovingly wipes mayonnaise from her friend's double chin. But God, I feel lucky. Lucky to be fucking under Bear Ben Bulbin's head. Lucky to be so alive and fucking this close to death. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, we'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button, if you could hit the subscribe button and make sure to ring that bell icon so you don't miss any updates from us in the future. If you want to go that extra mile and support us a little further, we do have a Patreon channel with loads of exclusive goodies and you can sign up for as little as a dollar a month. We appreciate your help guys and hopefully we'll see you again soon.